Chapter 10, Mishnah 1. If a food of cholin absorbs the flavor of truma produce to the extent that the flavor can be detected in the food of cholin, the food must be treated as truma and may not be eaten by a non cholin This chapter discusses this law and related laws. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If a truma onion was put into cholin lentils, the law is as follows. If the onion is whole, it is permitted for a non cholin to eat the lentils. Because the onion does not give flavor to the lentils, but if the onion was cut before putting it into the lentils, the lentils are forbidden to a non colon If the flavor of the onion could be detected in the lentils, therefore, the lentils must be tasted by a colon who is permitted to eat the lentils, even if they have the flavor of truma onion, of the truma onion. If he detects the flavor of the onion, the lentils may not be eaten by a non colon Otherwise, it may be eaten by a non colon as well. The Mishnah discusses the law of other truma vegetables that were put into a pot of lentils. But regarding any other cooked food, that is, if any other truma vegetable, such as garlic or leek, was placed in a pot of cholin lentils, the law is that whether the vegetable was whole or cut, the lentils are forbidden to a non cohen if the flavor of the vegetable could be detected in the lentils. This is because only onions do not give flavor when cooked with lentils. Other vegetables, however, do give flavor when cooked with lentils. Therefore, the lentils must be tasted by a Kohen to see if they absorb the taste of the truma vegetable. If they did, they are forbidden to a non Kohen. Generally, foods other than lentils do not prevent an onion from giving off flavor. Therefore, if they are cooked with a truma onion, they become prohibited. The Mishnah cites the opinion of Atana, who holds that there is a type of food that does not become prohibited when combined with a truma onion. Rabbi Yehuda permits in the case of tzachana, a type of pickled fish, that was put into a utensil with a truma onion. The tzachana is permitted to a non kohen even though it, is, it absorbed the flavor of the truma onion. This is because the onion is put only to remove the bad smell of the tzachana, and it does not improve its flavor. Since the flavor of truma onion does not improve the tzachana, it does not forbid the tzachana to a non kohen